Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a video on my new Cuban Knight Enol. And um, in my last video I said that I was going to get him or I think an, a colored lizard or something. And I decided to get him. And so here's a tour of his cage. He lives in a three foot long by two foot wide by two and a half feet tall cage. And he has a block around this side because my rabbit and my um, tigu freak him out. So I decided to just put a blocker up on that side. Um, he has three live plants in here. I have no idea what or how to pronounce this, but I have the tag right there. There we go. And then I have the tags for these right here, too. And obviously those are the same type of plant. He has a ZVB right there. And his heat right there. And then this is a little, um, in case he wants to dig or anything, a little... Um, been filled with dirt that I put in his cage and I put some crickets in here but he never decided to go after them he doesn't like to eat on his own for some reason so I have to always like whenever I get him out and then I'll uh, run my finger along his mouth and he'll open it up and I'll just put food inside of his mouth and that's how he gets his food right now um, I'm hoping that sometime in the near future he can start eating on his own so he doesn't have to have me sort of stressing him out um, if he would eat on his own, then I probably wouldn't handle him at all. Uh, these guys aren't exactly the friendliest type of reptiles. Um, mostly their sort of attitude is like chameleons, like a sort of tamer chameleon. Um, whenever I was spraying his plant over there, he was uh, puffing his little, uh, I don't know what you call it, his little flap out right here. But, uh, yeah, so... Um, his name is Vladimir, I don't know if I've said that already, um, a male Cuban knight and all. And, um, yeah, so this is Gage. And, um, in some time in the future, I'm going to be making him a cage that's glass on, uh, four sides, and then it's going to be screen on the top, but it's going to be a glass cage, a bit smaller than this, since he doesn't even use most of this anyways. Um, and a little side note, I don't think he's full grown yet. I think that they're full grown uh, size. I don't know about females, but I know for males it's about 18, 19 inches. Um, I haven't measured him yet, but he still is growing. He doesn't look like most of the full grown male Cuban Adenols anyways. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. And if you wanted a more in-depth care sheet on these guys or just... Um, a handling video or whatever then um, tell me in the comments and I'll make it so thank you for watching